The complaint, which you'll have copies of made available to you, uh, sets out in great detail what they were subject to from the time they were detained until the time they were released. And it's a nightmarish tale, forced nakedness, beatings, repeated um, uh, harassment in the exercise of their religious belief, religious beliefs. They were intimidated by unmuzzled dogs. They were interrogated with guns to foreheads. Uh, and it went on and on uh, without charge, isolation. All of these are actionable under the Convention Against Torture, under the Geneva Conventions, uh, and under the United States Constitution for violation of their rights to due process and for, the, for cruel and unusual punishment. Um, our four clients have been at the receiving end of this policy, this regime of torture and mistreatment. And they, have, they had been for two and a half years in Guantanamo. And in this lawsuit, they seek to highlight the mistreatment um, for which, to which they were subjected. And they speak for the hundreds of others um, that were similarly incarcerated and subjected to similar such treatment. And they also provide a voice for the others that are still incarcerated, and who knows, they may still be, they may too be subjected to similar forms of treatment to which our clients have been subjected. And as my colleagues have said here today, what they seek first and foremost is accountability. Yes, we are proceeding in their individual capacities. Uh, government officials have what's known as qualified immunity. Uh, they are immune from suit unless they violate clearly established legal rights. That's the standard set up by the Supreme Court, and that's a hurdle that we think we're going to overcome, that what was authorized and what was conducted at Guantanamo was in violation of clearly established legal rights. Uh, there is no legal order uh, that includes torture as part of the permissible technique, uh, techniques uh, within any organized legal system. We are optimistic that as time goes by, it will be seen that this was a great stain on the American legal system and that, what, that whatever the terrible situation that arose uh, after the attacks of September 11, uh, abandoning uh, our commitment to the rule of law, to treating people with due process, to treating them with dignity, uh, was an egregious mistake.